we got the first half of the load unloaded already and uh, they received 10 pallets here which came off very very quickly okay it's 7 30 p.m now but we got loaded finally standard shingles and then this is the uh the rolled out uh roofing here that goes underneath the shingles that's the part that needs the tarp on it and then we got more regular shingles in the or more shingles in the back rolled roofing rolled roofing shingles and this load needs v-boards and as i told you guys earlier in the video minor at home but shipper provides some of these basic cardboard ones that i'll be able to use i'm going to use plastic edge protectors up on the regular shingles i'm going to save these v boards for the rolled roofing and if i have any extras and i'll throw them on the shingles but the rolled roofing is the priority i wish they had left a little bit of space between the rolled roofing and the shingles there because the shingles themselves don't need to be tarped i asked the shipper specifically about that the shingles don't have to be tarped just the rolled roofing here so i'm gonna see because i would like to only have to use one tarp on this since the front and rear portion of the load do not require a tarp we'll see what i can do it's 7 30 as i said and i have an eight and a half hour drive to get to des moines so i can get that fuel tank replaced uh that is uh not my favorite part of the day still but that's enough complaining let's go ahead and get this together secure this load so we can get out of here and secured everything off camera just for the sake of time as you can see the sun's gone i want to try to get out of here as quickly as i can and i still got to throw the tarp over but just like any other single load two straps in the front with your x strap of course super easy and then you can see those cardboard v boards that i have over top of all the walled roofing or rolled roofing that is i keep calling it walled roofing but it's rolled roofing because they are rolls like giant standing rolls of paper towels what they look like uh, so let's go ahead and grab our tarp and throw it on here i'm sure this portion of it is short enough for me to use a single tarp but for the sake of being aerodynamic i need to go ahead and start the tarp from the very front uh, most likely i can't get in between this section between the skids there's not enough space for me to Pull the tarp down in between here so if you're gonna do it you gotta do it right and it's not gonna cost me that much overall it's just a little bit of time to go ahead and do that so hopefully it'll be enough to cover that last set of rolled roofing but we'll find out okay we're all tarped up now and all the important bits are completely covered up i was able to do it with the one tarp thankfully and we got this last bit of shingles here but like i told you guys already the shipper said that the shingles themselves don't need to be covered just the rolled roofing and all of that is done i think i got like pretty much like uh about five sixths of the whole load covered so everything from the very front all the way to right there so we are good to go it's very very late in the evening 
much later than I would like to be starting off an eight hour trip, but uh, that's just how it's going today. That's just how this whole week is gone. <laughs> but uh, let me check my clock here, see what we got. I need to figure out exactly where I'm gonna stop for tonight. I mean, I've been sitting here for so long. I wonder how close I am to a to a 10 hour break, really. But I'm gonna figure all that out off camera. Guys, I will see you all in Des Moines. Okay, guys, it's Saturday and we are in Des Moines right now. Chrome Cafe behind me. Uh, unfortunately, they're closed on the weekends. Uh, we got here uh, around 2.30 and uh, had to get the truck washed first before we turned the keys over for the shop to go ahead and put the truck on the list to get those fuel tanks switched out. I just ended up doing all of my driving earlier this morning instead of leaving last night because since I stayed at that consignee, or not the consignee, but the shipper rather, for so long waiting to get loaded and then with the secure time after that, it was like 9.45 uh, in the evening uh, when I got finished and I just needed to wait two more hours basically um, and then I would have had a full 10 hour break so I just waited for that and um, with it being almost midnight there wasn't really any point of me driving eight hours to Iowa from where I was because I had been awake all day so I just bit the bullet went to sleep which is a smarter thing to do and just get some rest uh, so I'm definitely gonna miss out on parking up this week for certain because my 34 hour reset is not gonna be complete until midnight on Monday so I'm just gonna be chilling out here I'm probably gonna end up uh, getting the hotel room over there um, next to the train facility because I'm not quite sure when they're gonna be done with the truck so I'll be leaving on Monday morning I'm not exactly sure how early Monday morning I'm probably gonna call the night dispatch people and let them know because uh, I don't really want to have to leave at uh, like 3 a.m. to make that 6 a.m. appointment and I don't think that's a good idea I'll see if they can have them you know push the timing back a little bit to adjust the appointment time and uh, we'll go from there, but getting this fuel tank switched over should be the very last thing that I gotta do to get this truck up and running again, and we should be back to business as usual, uh, starting Monday morning. Fingers crossed. I'll let you guys know uh, the hopefully good news once that fuel tank issue is hopefully resolved, which it should be. I got here and they did have that fuel tank reserved and set aside for me uh, like I was told so we should be good to go once that's complete we'll see how long it takes though uh, until then I'm gonna just uh, enjoy my downtime for my 34 hour reset here and we'll see if I end up having a roommate when I go to the hotel over there that's usually how they do um, unless you are paying to have your own room specifically but if you're getting the complimentary room you're going to be set up with somebody uh, that's also here for the weekend so i'll catch up with you guys uh, once the repairs are done all right guys we finally got things done it's monday morning and uh the truck went into the bay they started working on it around uh like nine something last night which was sunday and uh they just got the stuff done just now uh maybe well actually not just now maybe like an hour ago and i just got done pre-tripping the truck uh we're all set the fuel tank is fixed and i'll show you now i can actually see what my fuel gauge reading is yeah about a little bit less than two eighths so i need to get some fuel but uh yeah before the sensor that's uh that tells you the, the fuel gauge reading is on the passenger side and my passenger side's tank wasn't working. So I was just uh, going off of the mileage before, like I told you guys, but we're all good to go. And I need to get on the road because uh, my appointment was originally at six 
a.m. and uh, of course I could not make that uh, but their cutoff time for receiving is uh, 1 o'clock I believe or 1 30 so we're about to go ahead and get on the road now and uh, show you guys a new fuel tank and everything's actually working there you go super shiny you can see me in it the reflection bling bling <laughs> nice and shiny brand new so now we can get back up here and run like we need to it's been a whole week more like two weeks between two separate breakdowns to old truck and then this truck and it has not been a fun experience but that's something that might come up you know that or some form or another of a breakdown that can cause you a headache but guys uh, I'm gonna have to cut this video off you guys thank you all of you that hung with me all the way through this over a week long adventure two weeks really since uh the breakdown of my old truck and then the breakdown of this truck till the current day well we are finally back up and running so hopefully we do not have any more mechanical issues for a very 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 long time what i just had to deal with was more than enough <laughs> more than enough to last me so i'm gonna go ahead and head to the continent so i can get this load delivered and uh We'll see what I get into after that, but uh, I'm going to cut this video short, guys. Thank you all for watching, subscribing, liking, and commenting on the videos. There's going to be plenty more to come. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments if there's any particular videos or subject matter that you want me to cover in the videos to come. But until later, guys, I'll see you further down the road. Get ready, trucker out. All right, guys, I'm back. You thought I was done, and I hoped that I was too, but... We had one more thing pop up. We made it to the Consigny. See, we're here. And we got here around, uh, it was like 1240, uh, right around that time. And I thought it was all good because uh, I said I needed to get here before or by one or before 1.30. But uh, when I pulled in here, they looked at my paperwork, checked, you know, they called somebody else that's somewhere else here, I'm assuming. And they're not unloading me today. They have me set as a work in for tomorrow morning so i had to i got with my fleet manager on that and uh yeah there's nothing they can do with that i'm stuck here until tomorrow morning so this whole scenario starting off with the first truck breakdown then the second truck breakdown and all the other stuff that went on in between like this past week or last week really it's just been the gift that keeps on giving but <clears throat> i got breakdown pay for the times that I was down last week. So that was two days and then I got breakdown pay for today as well because the truck was still getting worked on this morning. And when the truck got finished, I left. I think I got to the truck and I left out of the terminal. It couldn't have took me any longer than like 35 to 40 minutes, you know, between, you no, know, I had to re-hook up to the trailer and do my pre-trip real quick and, you know, got all my my routing and everything set up or re uh, reapplied and I was on the road I stopped for fuel on the way over here and that only took like eight minutes and I was over here so there was nothing that I could have done to get here any faster than I did considering the circumstances so we got our daily average for the breakdown days that were there so it hasn't been a complete total loss you know I got compensated for that I had to you know had that conversation with my fleet manager because like you know I, I couldn't just not make anything for you know all this stuff that was going on out of my control tmc has their own breakdown pay system which that's fine but i was like more so also concerned about like today because like, i got the truck up and running but it was broken down technically and all that like i explained so that's good and uh <clears throat> like i've told you guys in other videos you know being successful in trucking depends a lot on your mental state while you're out here working you know in addition to like how proficient you are with driving like all that stuff that was going on before, I could see a lot of dudes wanting to quit off of that. <laughs> like, really, I could. I know guys that have quit for much less. Uh, but, you know, things were working all right along the way. Like I said, I kept that line of communication open with my fleet manager, you know, especially talking about the pay aspect of it all the way through all stuff was going on. And he and I were on the same page and, you know, things have been working out, so that's cool. But aside from that, I want to show you the part that's out of my control is the breakdowns and you know getting here and them putting me on 
uh, the basically waiting list until up tomorrow when they can unload me tomorrow morning. Hopefully I'll be the first guy to go ahead and get out of here with that. But the stuff that's out of my control, no point in getting stressed out about that because I can't do anything about it right now. But I took advantage of what I can control. So since I'm still here, I already spoke with uh, the consignee. So they said it was cool for me to go ahead and take all my securement down, which I did, my tarp and all my straps. That way I don't have to do it at 5 a.m. You know, tomorrow morning. I could just sit in my truck and lounge for the rest of the day. And it is hot out here right now. So I just wanted to go ahead and do it versus uh, doing it in the morning, you know, getting sweaty all over again. If you can see right there, it's 102 degrees out here. And I just wanted to, to get it done over with since I was already in, in work mode. And also the other positive thing about that is it's uh, 2 30 in the afternoon and since i can't get unloaded until tomorrow morning i i'm done working for the day you know i got the rest of the day to sit in the truck in the ac and uh you know eat read a book you know watch some tv or whatever i want to do in my relaxation time call family members whatever so i can end it on a positive note you know you gotta see what your situation is and you know assess it and do what you need to do to come out on top which i feel like i have done <laughs> considering everything that was going on and the way this ended you know I, I could sit around and be frustrated like oh it's one more thing that happened but you know it happened but i got a, the positive end of it like i said i'm still getting paid and i'm done working early and i'll be empty first thing in the morning which means I should also get a high paying load that's in this area, um, in theory. So, and also the truck, everything's repaired now. Got my fuel tanks up and running again. Everything's good. So tomorrow should be a clean, fresh start. And it can only go up from here. <laughs> it can only go up from all that silly stuff that was going on. So just wanted to end it on that one, guys. Just to show you guys the 100% complete full story of everything that was going on and uh let you guys enjoy that adventure <laughs> i know i did not <laughs> i did not and i'm glad that it's over with but uh this will be the real outro guys <laughs> i'll see you in the next one i won't give the whole outro like i did earlier but uh thanks for watching everything here that trucker out see you guys in the next one with no issues <laughs> bye